And then uh, for the conceptual methods, uh, um, I, separate, I separated them in uh, different cate categories. Uh, for photography, uh, I very often use geometrical framing as a consequence of obsession acquired through time, such as horizontal and verti vertical alignment. Uh, and uh, I call it a conscious way of working. I try to do the contrary when I use video, uh, uh, where I use uh, random registrations. It means that I, I don't uh, actually see the parameters of the images when I, when I do them. I just make images and discover them when I go back home, and then I try to, uh, to uh, make something out of them. Uh, for sound, it's very different because it's not um, a visual element. So um, I generally use it to work on moods and, uh, and atmospheres uh, for videos. Um, uh, and uh, it can also be uh, a part of the, narrati the narrative process, and it can also be considered ad as uh, a character. And then uh, the last point talks about precision and rigor during the editing and the construction process, uh, even um, in case of working with random images. Uh, here uh, it mainly talks about the importance of the editing um, while uh, treating uh, random images. These conceptual met methods aim to create a bridge between reality and imagination. They use elements of reality that are uh, then transformed to, s to soft fictional si situations, a border between reality and fiction where differentiation is no longer a preoccupation. The method that this research will study is fragmentation as a way of reaching other levels of perception, reading images, regarding images and sounds. It will use experiments on fragmentation in many ways, from the use of images and sounds for the raw material, the content, uh, to the use of narration, so uh, the editing process. Uh, now I will talk about uh, how this, uh, this project is born. The project idea came from reading L'Entre-Image, Photo, Video, Cinema, written by Raymond Bellour. I've been caught by the relationship between photography and cinema, and I started to explore this path, doing some experiments. The first, the first one was the project Simon, from which we've been uh, seeing some images before. Uh, I worked on the same visual situation using two different processes uh, of video making. The first one uh, was using real-time shooting um, that was pre uh, presenting a continuous flow and uh, that gives an imitation of the real situation. We could say that it's, uh, it has, these kind of images have a documentary function. And the second uh, process was using uh, um, a sequence of photographs. What gives um, a discontinuous flow uh, that makes the viewer more involved in the images he sees. Um, these images have a uh, documentary function, but uh, they also propose something, uh, something more. This small uh, element more is uh, the uh, imagination work. And it is the base, the, the main question of the project, the research. Many observations had been made from these two videos. Uh, they were mainly related to the relationship between three parameters between images themselves or the reaction uh, of uh, the, 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 s the images that uh, are used to uh, produce the sequences, between images and sounds, and, uh, and between images and imagination. The aims of the research project. <laughs> <laughs> I received this, <laughs> so I will try to go fast. 